You are a math detective. Solving word problems is easy if you use a successful strategy. First, read the problem carefully. Slow enough to see a movie in your mind. Andy picked 124 apples. He wanted to divide the apples evenly between his family, his neighbor's family, and his grandparents. How many apples did Andy give to his neighbors and grandparents, and how many did he keep for his family? Next, highlight or underline key information. Circle the question. In a math problem, usually the number information is the key information. Let's read carefully again. Andy picked 124 apples. That's an important fact in the problem because it tells us how many apples he picked all together. He wanted to divide the apples evenly. This is important information too because it tells us what Andy wanted to do. He wanted to divide the apples evenly. And he wanted to divide them between his family, that's one group, his neighbor's family, that's another group, and his grandparents, that's a third group. How many apples did Andy give to his neighbors, grandparents, and how many did he keep for his family? Well, that's our question. So I don't have a circle tool, so I'm going to highlight that in blue. Three, decide how you will solve the problem. Well, right here it says he wants to divide the apples evenly. So I'm going to solve the problem with division. Four, solve the problem. Check your work and make sure that your solution answers the question asked. Well, if I want to solve a division problem, there's many ways that I could do that. 124 apples divided into three groups. I could draw 124 apples and then circle three even groups. I could also count 124 objects and divide it into three equal groups. But since we know division, I can use the mathematical algorithm for partial quotient and divide it. I'll start by saying 3 times what number comes close to 124? Well, I know I'm going to just try landmark numbers because I want a quick way of solving this. 3 times 100 would be 300, too big. Half of that, 3 times 50, would be 150, still too big. But 3 times 40 would be 120. It's easy to work with tens numbers. So I know that I give, if I give each of the three groups 40, I'll use up 120 out of the 124 apples. Now I have 4 left. Well, 3 times 1 equals 3. I've just given everybody one more apple and now I've used up 120 plus 3 so I've used up 123 apples and I have a remainder of 1. Now I could divide that one whole apple into thirds and give everybody a third but that would be silly when it comes to apples because it would rot and who wants a third of an apple hanging around in their apple bag in their house. So I'm going to say for this case that Andy ate the remaining apple on his way home from the orchard. So there we go. We took care of the remainder. Now check your work. Well, here I have everybody getting 40. I'm going to highlight that in yellow. And here I have everybody getting 1. Highlight that in yellow. So I know that I gave each group 
41. So let me check that. So if each group has 41 times the three groups, let me multiply that. Well, 3 times 40 is 120. 3 times 1 is 3, so 123. Hey, but I had 124 apples. And now 3 groups of 41 only equals 123. But I have to add in the remainder, which brings us up to 124. So yes, I correctly solved the problem. 5. Write your answer as a sentence. I like to write my answer as a sentence because it makes my answer explicit. And if anybody wants to check my work, they can just dive down to the bottom of the page and look at the answer. I'm going to do this very neatly. Underline answer. And now I'm going to um, write it. Let's see, how will I write it? I'll look back at the question. How many apples did Andy give to his neighbors and grandparents, and how many did he keep for his family? Hmm. Andy divided his 124 apples into three equal groups. He gave each group 41 apples. There was one apple left over. I'm going to write remainder there. And he ate that apple. Yeah. And now in my answer, I'm also going to highlight the key information in my answer, 41 apples. Because that really answers the big question. How many apples did each group get? Well, I followed the steps. I checked my work. I solved the problem. I am a math detective. And you can be one too if you simply follow the successful strategies of math problem solving. I wish you luck with all your math problems. Thanks for listening.